Marvel Rivals Closed Alpha just came out a few days ago, and while I was going to do a gameplay video, let's just say NetEase didn't send me a code. So other than spending all weekend watching streams, retweeting giveaways, and crying after I lose, I realized that I should just talk about it. Because, well, if you haven't noticed, a lot of people are comparing this game to Overwatch. And since Overwatch 2 came out around a year ago, and I think it was one of the worst sequel launches ever, I thought it would be a great idea to talk about whether Marvel Rivals is going to be the next Overwatch. Enjoy. Now to predict if it's going to overtake Overwatch, we need to see how similar they are. And I mean, what's different about the two? Both have a 6v6 style game where you pick your character with ultimates and abilities, and you either move a vehicle, claim certain parts of the map, or try to eliminate as many enemies as you can to win the game. And I mean, yeah, that's it. That's the blueprint to Overwatch, and Marvel Rivals does that exact same thing. But they do it better. Let me explain. Because while both of them followed the same structure and formula, the difference with Marvel Rivals is, well, Marvel. When you look at a character right here, who is it? If you know it's Bastion or Tracy, they're both from Overwatch, and you would know this if you actually played the game. But when you look at these two, who are they? Oh, they're Black Panther and Iron Man. They're from Marvel. Not, oh, it's from Marvel Rivals, the 6v6 strategy game similar to Overwatch. And the reason that matters so much is because Marvel Rivals can market the game and seem more appealing and get to a bigger audience because of this. They don't have to make original characters and hope people find them interesting. They just have to perfect the Marvel characters. The source material is there for them. All they have to do is just make them look good and have them be faithful. And fuck yeah, they do that. But not only do they stick to the character's source materials, they also kind of have their own style. Because when you see these characters after playing the game, you would go, oh, that's Black Panther and Iron Man from Marvel, but specifically from the game Marvel Rivals. And you could tell it's from the game because it's just so vibrant, unique, it's art style style just sets it from the rest. It just looks nicer, it looks brighter, it looks better and different from Overwatch, Paladins, even fucking Rainbow Six Siege, which I kinda consider an Overwatch. If NetEase just used original characters and put it in this game, it would still look very different and unique, but using Marvel characters is just so smart. <laughs> But other than the art style, what does this game actually have? Well, it's in closed alpha, meaning they just need to test some things out and want to make sure not many bugs are happening. So it's going to be like another year until we all actually get to play this game. But in a closed alpha, it already has so much fucking more than Overwatch 2 has to offer right now. I mean, Overwatch 1 was out for seven years, and the second one was promised with a story mode and so much more. And well, I think we know where that went. Oh, ugh. Still, still makes me sad just thinking about it. And Marvel Rivals over here, being in its closed alpha, has more stuff than Overwatch 2 did on launch. I mean, Marvel Rivals has things like destructible environments and so much more that we'll get to later, but you have Overwatch 2 over here, which had four to three years of development time, and all they added were a few new modes, maps, and like two to three new characters. I'm sorry, but it's kind of sad when you have a mobile game company beat you at your own thing, which if you guys don't know, NetEase is literally a mobile game company. But it's fine because Marvel Rivals doesn't even have that many new features. It's not like you can create an entire faction, which is basically teams with your friends and then play tournaments with them for money. At least they don't have... What? what hold up. Oh. Oh no. They do. I mean, for the main selling factor being the story mode and it getting cancelled, I can't help but feel like it's about time 
for Overwatch to finally have a game where they actually feel like they need to hurry up because they finally now have competition. I hope this teaches Blizzard that their games can't be sloppy and they have to actually be good if they want it to do good in their genre. But do I actually think Blizzard will do that? Not at all. Because let's be realistic here, Marvel Rivals being in its closed alpha without any updates has already more of a promising future right now than a game that is already out fully and has been out for an entire year. If I wanted to right now, I could play Overwatch, but instead I'm foaming at the mouth about the idea of playing as Spider-Man as Rocket Raccoon is on Groot's back shooting at me. Yeah, that's one thing I also forgot to mention. You can use certain characters to team up with each other. I'm not joking and it's actually kind of crazy how you can use like Magneto to help Scarlet Witch or have a threesome with Doctor Strange, Bruce Banner, and Iron Man as they all gamma charge each other. The fact that you can strategize with your team and have certain characters that can team up with each other is actually crazy and the fact that Overwatch doesn't have this is a problem. Because I mean, compared to Overwatch, which has had seven to eight years of development and updates, they don't have team ups, destructive environments, factions, tournaments for money, and honestly, a very nice art style. And the reason I've been taking so many shots at Overwatch right now is because I honestly have been seeing so many videos lately that I've been talking about Marvel Rivals being the new Overwatch, and I just want to show why? Okay, okay, I need to stop glazing Marvel Rivals right now and saying what they have and what Overwatch doesn't, and I need to answer to you guys the title of this video. Is Marvel Rivals the next Overwatch? Short answer, uh... I don't know. The problem is, is that it's in closed alpha and that it's too early to tell if it's gonna end up being like a Fall Guys where it's gonna die after two to three weeks of being active. Or an even better example, Multiverse. Oh, wait, wait, what do you mean it's coming back in two weeks? Okay, never mind, but still, we can't predict the longevity and popularity that this game will have after a few weeks of being out, but there is hope. Because I mean, this past week, everyone has been talking about how amazing this game's been, how the features are amazing, the only problems they have with it are a few bugs and server issues. As long as they just keep on updating the game with fun maps, characters, and content, and overall balance changes, then I think they might just have a chance to beat Overwatch. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean that Overwatch 2's all-time peak player count was 75,000? <laughs> Marvel Rivals can beat that easily. 